So we will now jump uh, into a demo of, of the FSG reporting for financial analytics. I will hand control over to my partner, Pavan Nanjitaya. There are three major components of the product, the ETL code, the DAC content, and the OVIE model. These three uh, components uh, need to be merged into the Oracle customer's existing BI apps environment. Since KPI has built this fully compliant with the BI apps architecture, these steps are very straightforward. The next step is to run an ETL load to migrate FSC definitions from your existing EBS tables into the BI apps extension that we have developed. Once that is done, the page that Pavan is now showing becomes available. So the left-hand side of this page shows a list of reports that have been migrated. And then the right-hand side shows the format and calculations of these reports. So we are calling this the FSG report template. And right away, you can see one of the benefits of doing this migration into a modern BI tool. For example, let's consider a customer that has migrated a cash flow statement. They can now use this dashboard page to verify the rows and columns defined for that report without actually having to run the report. You can also see detailed definition of a row by clicking on the particular row. So Pavan has just clicked on the net income row of this report. And the, de the detailed report that comes up shows the code combination IDs that make up the definition of that particular row. So in order to show a slightly more int interesting example of, example of how other types of calculations can be displayed on the report itself, I will pick another report called the margin analysis report. So you'll see that there is one section called operating margin percent. You can see the interactivity uh, that uh, Oracle BI uh, offers. Expand on Oracle uh, operating margin allows us to see that it is made up of revenue and operating margin, but not only is that is it uh, clear that it's, that's the calculation? You can actually see that operating margin percent is defined as total revenue, uh, operating margin divided by total revenue. In addition, as I um, expand further, I can see the definition of each of these rows, total expenses being defined as cost of goods sold, and uh, a certain classification of expenses, total employee expenses, and total operating expense. So just to summarize here, what you're actually seeing is an interactive report that displays the format of an existing FSG definition. None of this is actually possible in EBS. You have to actually run the report and look at it to see if you've even defined the report correctly. Or if you want to see if a if specific report is available uh, in the system, uh, there's no way to look at it without actually running the report. So later in the demo, we'll also show a new FSC editor we're building that will make the process of editing and maintaining these FSC reports in OBIE much easier. So ch stay tuned for that. Now let's consider a customer who's, who wants to build a balance sheet report in financial analytics after the migration is completed. So FSC reports in OBIE are built exactly like you would build any other report using Oracle BI answers. There is an FSG reporting subject area that is delivered with the product, and it has all the dimensions and facts necessary to build FSG reports. There are two important columns of note. The report name, which we've added to this report, which allows you to filter for the report that you want to build. In this case, we've used balance sheet. The other important column is a hierarchy column called FSG hierarchy that pulls in the data related to the row set for that specific report. You can then add additional measures like period to date balance or year to date balances, and additional filters such as ledger and period. Once this report is defined, it can be saved and published onto a dashboard with prompts and navigations, just like you would do any other OBI report. So we'll briefly show now a dashboard with three different formats of a balance sheet report. On the right-hand side is the most commonly used format. It allows the most interactivity because it allows, it uses the hierarchic column feature to expand and collapse. And it, it, this was the report that we were actually showing when we were building Oracle BI, in Oracle BI Answers just a minute ago. 
So uh, to show one of the um, highlights of, of being able to build these kind of uh, reports in Oracle BI, we will also show the interactivity that this allows. So for example, I, sh I could click on uh, the equipment line, for example, on this balance sheet to find detailed account level balance for, e for that line. So many of our customers actually enhance this further to be, to be able to drill down on this account number, get down to the journal entry level detail, and then further into the subletter level detail, all of which is possible because this model is completely conformed with the financial analytics model and comes with all the features of navigation and drills that Oracle BI allows. So on this dashboard, we're also showing a couple of other samples just uh, to, to uh, highlight the different alternatives available for formatting these reports. One uses an indented labeling format, which allows you to view the report uh, and allows subtotals and, and parents to be viewed in an indented fashion. And a second option is to use conditional formatting and, high, uh, and highlighting to show the top subtotals. And the navigations and drill downs that we showed before uh, are also available on these dashboards, on these reports. Again, in summary, with this product, it is very easy to build lots of variations of FSG reports with different prompts and filters and navigations. Lastly, a lot of our customers have asked us how they can change or build new content in OBI once the report definitions are available in OBI. For example, if we have a balance sheet definition and, and we're showing the, the FSG editor that, um, that, that I'm referring to, um, wants you to retrieve a specific uh, report in, this, in the editor. And it, let's say you want to have, you want to uh, add a new item called investments in subsidiaries to this report. You're able to actually easily duplicate an existing line add the new line item, rename it. You can also move it around to a different location, reorder existing lines as needed, much easier than what you would be able to do in, an F in the FSC editor in EBS. You can make changes to the segments that are used for a specific line item add new values to the segments, and, and assign the calculations for that segment. So that was just a very brief demo of the um, editing uh, facility that we are now building into this product. Uh, if there's more information that people are interested in, I'd be happy to answer either during the Q&A session or please reach out to us later in the uh, to our website. So to summarize, we have shown a much more modern way of building FSG reports in financial analytics, a more flexible tool using a more modern BI tool instead of the uh, EBS implement. In comparison with EBS, the few items that I wanted to highlight with uh, what's available now with our offering is much better performance, much more interactivity and navigations to detail, and also a co more common reporting environment since our customers want to move to uh, a common reporting environment. The options that are available, the only um, specific use case where we are still recommending that customers continue to use EBS uh, is the real-time use case. when the specific reports need to be real time, uh, the EBS solution is continues to be the best option.